Hello, this is Ben Hollifield here to introduce you to IdeaBox for ServiceNow. Um, IdeaBox is a new application built for ServiceNow and it's unlike anything out there for ServiceNow currently. Um, in short, IdeaBox provides collaborative spaces for sharing ideas, for um, asking for help, um, and for providing your opinion on others' ideas or solutions for other people's problems. Um, the nearest analogy to IdeaBox is um, products like like Reddit or like Stack Overflow, places where it's very simple to push your ideas um, out into the world and then crowdsource feedback, solutions, opinions about, about your ideas in a way that enables um, the best ideas, the best solutions to sort of bubble to the top where they can then be acted upon. Um, we have in mind that you could use this for things like um, like collaboration uh, amongst groups, uh, for soliciting feedback, for some informal demand management, um, or just getting technical assistance or non-technical assistance on, on any kind of topic you may need. Let me show you what it looks like. So we come here to this instance. We happen to have it uh, already set up here, and you'll see we have idea box in the left nav here. All I'm going to do is click on launch idea box. And all this is is a UI page, um, meaning that you can put, go to this directly from a URL, so you can send out URLs to um, the main UI or to specific idea boxes, depending on how you want to share those in your organization. Uh, once we're there, it looks pretty blank right now, but if we follow the hint and click up here, we can automatically drop down a list of the currently existing idea boxes. Each one of these could be considered a forum dedicated to a particular category. Um, we can see we just have a few listed here. We have you know, general discussion, some suggestions for the holiday party. Um, here's a developer's forum. Now oh, we have a Fred Luddy, ask me anything. Um, if, if this list gets very large, we can also come up here and just kind of start typing into this. What are we looking for? And if we're looking for Fred Luddy, yeah, there we go. It automatically filters it down. So let's check that one out. So it's a Fred Luddy, ask me anything. Um, we go in here and we can see a number of posts that have been made by people. Um, we can list all the different posts here and we can, we can page through those to see what all is available. Um, as we're reading through, we have options of how we want to sort these. We can go by the newest posts, um, go by the popular ones, which are the ones that have been liked the most, which I'll show you here in a moment. Um, the hottest posts, which are those that have been viewed the most, um, so are getting a lot of traction right now, or we can create our own. Right now, let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll sort by popular, for instance. Um, so if we do that, we'll see that each of these posts has a little number here in the middle. Um, that's how many cumulative upvotes or likes that post has received. Um, I'll see one that quickly jumps to the top. This, hey Fred, how long until the stock hits 100? Um, I do like that, so I'll click here. Make that one green. Um, give that a vote and you'll see we increased to six there. If we click in there, we can see all the responses to this. And again, we have a number of things, um, a number of responses people have made here. We can again sort those by the newest or just the most popular, whichever we like. Ah, shouldn't take long once folks see Fuji. Yeah, well, I'll upvote that. Uh, sort of my newest. We'll see. We you know, we have a, a naysayer here. I'm going to downvote that one. Um, and so you'll see it's registering our votes and giving us a color indication of of our um, votes on each of these topics. And if we leave a um, a post and come back into it, it does remember our votes. And so we can only vote once on anything. If I continue to try to vote down or vote up something, I can't do that. So each person gets one vote that you can contribute to each of these. Um, so it's a sort of a democratic way to kind of bubble up the best feedback, the best solutions, the best the best posts that are out there. Um, and you know, anytime I want to come over and create my own post, it'll pop up a window right here. Uh, what would we like to ask Fred? Um, I don't know. Push right there. We can we can put in some some stuff here if we want to add some additional um, description. We don't have to. And this is HTML, so we can add images. We can put links. We can format that however we like. Submit that, and then it pops it right into the list there. We can open that up, and people can can comment on that, and uh, and provide their own feedback there. Um, in addition, we do have a search here. So, say if I want to search for anything that maybe has to do with snugs inside this this box, search there, and here we see we have some stuff about the Minneapolis snug. Um, in here, we had well, we had a comment about the snug, so it searches both the the primary post and the uh, the topics, the posts, comments within. We can remove that and go back. And then if I want to create, say, a new box, I can also just go in here and click Create New. I can make my own um, idea box. And this can be, you know, Snug Collaboration for Fridays NC Snug, for instance. I can choose if I want to make it selectable or not. Selectable are the idea boxes that are uh, selectable from that drop-down menu. Perhaps I want this one to be private. So I can make it not selectable. 
and they don't give me the private URL that I will need to send out to the folks who won't have access to this. I can just send this URL and they can get to it, but no one else can select it if it's not selectable. Click submit and then it'll create that and we're going to see it's not up there in that list. Um, but I, I could use that private URL that I had to get to that new new box that I created. And if you look over here in the left nav, this is a this is a new UI that we've created um, for navigating um, and commenting and voting and all those sorts of things that we're allowing you to do. But it, it's ultimately putting all this data back into ServiceNow tables. So over here you can see we have a list of all of our idea boxes, including that one that we just created down here. And if I forget my um, my URL, I can click in there and there's that URL that I had for that new idea box. I can also go in here and see our ideas. And these are all the ideas for all the different idea boxes we have. We've got our, our comments, all the comments and the ideas those correlate to and the votes that are out there. Um, so all this data is is put in, into this standard ServiceNow format where you can um, data mine it for uh, for reporting, um, do whatever you want to do with it. And then finally, we have a few properties. Got some instructions here on how to use the app and then some things like number of posts per page, um, roles required to create new boxes if you want to limit who can do that. And we also have some number of days to, to keep ideas and boxes active. Um, we want to make sure that we always keep pertinent data um, inside these idea boxes. We don't want it to get stale. And so we can put a certain number of days and if a certain idea doesn't get any um, any votes or any comments or for a certain period of time, we'll stop showing that in the, in the main UI. Same for the boxes. If a box goes a certain number of days with no new posts, no votes, no comments, no activity, we're gonna hide that box. You can always bring it back, um, but we just wanna do that to make sure that we keep the, the main UI clean, uncluttered, and full of um, pertinent, useful information that you need. So this is idea box. It's just sort of a fun, collaborative way to work with people in your organization, solicit ideas from them, solicit feedback from them in a way that hasn't previously been possible in ServiceNow. Um, so we hope you like it. We had a ton of fun building it for you, and we hope you find some great uses for it. Thanks a lot.